In this video, we are going to show you how to install Lightroom Develop presets. First, what is a Lightroom Develop preset? A preset is simply a set of commands, much like an action in Photoshop, that will quickly, with the touch of a button, adjust a whole bunch of sliders and, and things over on the right-hand side of the Develop module that will change the look and feel of your image. Lightroom comes pre-shipped with a bunch of these, so you can see that they have a red filter, a blue filter. These are black and white presets. They're not very well designed, but if I click on one of them, say the infrared one, if I click on it, it changes my photo to a kind of a fake infrared look. And then I can hit Command Z and it will undo that. But that's the presets that come shipping with Lightroom. Now, if we wanted to install presets of our own, first we would have to download some from the internet. We can of course create our own, but in this video we're going to show you how to install uh, presets that you've downloaded from somewhere else, that you've shared from somewhere else, that you've purchased, etc. So first off, we got to get those presets. So if we go to, say, my store, and inside of my account in the downloads area of my store, you can find all of your downloadable presets that you have purchased from jaredplatt.biz. If you click on the download files area, there are zip files that you can download. If I click on that, it will automatically download that to the download area inside of my computer. Once I have a zip file, and in this case we're looking at the comprehensive collection, if I double click it, I will get a resulting folder full of presets. If I open that folder up, I will find all of the presets that happen to be in that collection. Now the comprehensive collection has a whole bunch of different types of presets, and so we've divided them out into separate folders so that you can see this folder is the develop preset folder. That's why it's named drag contents into develop preset folder. It's telling you where to drag the contents that's inside of this folder. Um, there are other types of presets and it's important that you know the difference. So develop preset is used inside of the develop module over on the left hand side inside of the preset area. That's, these are global. When you click on them, they affect the entire photo. So that's what a develop preset is. So in order to install these, you can do it in two different ways. So once we have them on our computer, let's go to Lightroom and I'm going to show you first the way to install a small limited number of presets. Um, and that is just simply by looking at a folder. So this is the user preset folder. If I right click that folder and click on the import button, then I can look for those presets on my computer. And so I would go to the desktop, go into that folder that we just looked at. I would make sure that I'm going into the develop presets, not into the other presets, but into the develop presets. And then I would click on say an everyday favorite. Um, and then let's say I wanted to just import this one preset and hit import. And now that preset is available and inside of my user presets and it even opened it up and actually used the preset on my photo. I'm going to click undo so that it doesn't do that to my photo. Now, what if I wanted to import a few more? Right click it again, click import and highlight a whole section of presets and hit import. And now it imported a whole section of presets, which is great as well. And notice that it applied that last one to the photograph. So that's how I would install one at a time or a section at a time. But that means that if you're installing say 400 of them or 200 or a series of folders, you can't do it this way. So instead, what we're going to do is show you up in the Lightroom preferences area, go to the preferences dialog box and in the second panel over is the preset dialog box. Inside of that preset box, you'll find midway down a button called Show Lightroom Presets Folder. If I click on that button, it is going to dig down deep into the heart of the computer and find the folder where all the presets exist. Now, 
Over on the left hand side of this area there is a, a checkbox that says store presets with this catalog. I would suggest, highly suggest, that you have this unchecked. If you check this, it will locate all the presets in your current catalog into that specific catalog, which means that if you ever create another catalog, you won't have access to the presets that are in this catalog. And so you will, in a sense, lose them. They will just disappear on you. But when you open up this catalog again, they'll be there. But when you open another catalog, they won't be there. And I get this question all the time. People will email me and say, hey, I can't find my presets. They just disappeared. I open up a catalog and they're gone. That's because they have this button checked right here. And if they do that, it locates all of the presets into one specific catalog. And the other ones start from scratch with all of the basic presets from Lightroom only. So just don't check this box. It's not a great option. If you click on this Show Lightroom Presets folder, it will open up the folder where they actually exist. So inside of the depths of your computer, in the Application Support area, in the Adobe folder, inside of Lightroom folder, you will find a bunch of preset folders. Now this is in a Mac. On a, a PC, it will be in a different location, a vastly different location, but if you click on the button, it will take you to it. So you don't need to know the exact path. Just simply click on that button, it takes you to the folder. When you're in the folder, you're going to find the develop preset folder. That's where all of your develop presets are being stored. In fact, if I click on the user preset folder, you'll see that all those imported presets that we just imported are inside of that folder. You will also notice that there is no folder within this folder. If I were to import a folder of presets, just grab an a set of presets, if I were to grab this folder and I were to copy it, so right click and copy, and then right click down here and paste, and put a folder inside of this folder, so watch the path. Develop presets inside of the user presets, and then a folder. These presets here will not be seen by Lightroom because Lightroom cannot see within the second folder. It can only see the first folder deep within the develop presets folder. So do not use a folder within a folder type of organizational structure. We're going to delete that and we're going to go back to the develop presets folder itself. And this is how you're going to install a bunch of presets all at once. Simply highlight all of the preset folders you want to bring in. Notice that it's inside this folder that says drag contents into the develop presets folder. Here, I just simply copy these and then go down here to the develop presets folder. This is the folder that this button opened up for us. And I'm going to right click it and paste those 15 folders. Now you can see that I have develop preset folder and inside of it I have a whole bunch of preset folders and inside of each of those is a set of presets. Now if I want them to show up in Lightroom I'm going to have to reopen Lightroom. So I have to quit Lightroom. then I'm going to restart Lightroom. And when Lightroom restarts, that's when it starts looking for all the new presets. And when it opens up, you'll see that in the develop module, we will have all of those folders of presets that we just imported. And if I click on, say, the Everyday Favorites on this little triangle, it opens up and you can see all of the presets that are associated with that folder. Then if I want to click on Rich Black and White, there we go and it has accomplished all of the setting changes that needed to be done to create this photo effect. And that's it. That's how you install develop presets into Lightroom.